Hi everyone, it's Nadine, Public Programs Coordinator here at Royal Botanical Gardens. It's a beautiful day and we're going to be getting the buzz on bees at our gated beehives near Hendry Park. Hendry Park is a beautiful space with nearly a thousand different species of plants, which is ample food for all kinds of both native and honey bees. Today we're going to be joined by Luke Peters, who is a local beekeeping expert with Humble Bee from Hamilton. Hi Luke, thanks for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about Humblebee? Sure, Humblebee is an urban beekeeping farm and we focus primarily on the health of the bees. And we also raise bees. We breed them to be disease resistant so we can have healthy bees for the future. We have six colonies here and they are helping pollinate RBG's plants, shrubs and trees, as well as increasing uh, the food production of the food crops and seed production of all the other plants. So it's very important to make sure that the colonies are healthy and we are actively going inside the colonies to search for any types of problems, disease, pests, and making sure that the bees have all the resources they need to be healthy. So we only take the surplus honey that the bees can afford to give and we do so carefully to ensure that people can actually get a truly local raw food product and uh, honey is actually the lowest carbon footprint sweetener available and it will be available at the gift shop. Smoke has been used to work with bees for thousands of years and basically we use it so we don't stress out the bees while we work with them. Um, that way we can safely work with the bees without harming them and getting them all the things they need. Bees themselves will actually produce a pheromone that lets each other know that you know something is happening in the hive and they might get stressed out because of that. So if we can mask that pheromone communication by using smoke, we're able to work with the bees and not stress them out while we do so. So bees are in decline. Um, all over and it is agreed upon that there are three main issues on why bees are in decline. One is climate change, uh, two is chemical use such as pesticides and more specifically systemic pesticides, um, and three is habitat loss. So an easy way to help the bees is to start growing more at home the bees can forage on, and even growing your own food. Flowering herbs are sought after by many bees, and making sure that you are buying products such as flowers and, and plants and trees that have not been uh, treated with systemic pesticides. Um, currently, the systemic pesticides are legal here in Canada. Uh, they have been banned in various countries, but they are still widely used here. And hopefully that will change soon. And um, yeah, you can actually be a messy gardener at home because bees prefer uh, spots that have a pile of shrub, a pile of sticks, and some bare soil as well. And it actually pays to be a messy gardener. And there's quite a lot of weeds, things that we consider weeds, that the bees absolutely love as well. Of course, there is a balance with, with all things and we have to ensure that we can provide a bit of space just for the bees as well. Thanks so much for joining us today, Luke. We look forward to seeing the bees here near Hendry Park. Thank you. Be safe, everybody.